morning everybody how are you today obviously I went in the car obviously my hair is wet <laughs> um, I do happen to know today it's Sunday May 6th but don't get all excited I only know that because I was already up today doing today's uh, writing and postings on the different art um, and social media groups that I'm on that I have to do that for so that's the only reason I know We, as you saw on last week's vlog, got home late, pretty late last night from Portland, Oregon, and um, we were there for a wedding and to take care of some business, and we were just exhausted. So anyway, we are home, and we've got unpacked. I am headed out to Target and the grocery store to get a couple of things. It just seems like we haven't um, been home much. <laughs> we were in Lake Tahoe for a week, then we came home. We were home for a few days and we went to Portland, like literally. Um, my husband hurt his back in Lake Tahoe, for those of you who don't know. So we didn't get things done up there that we wanted to. Um, we were there for vacation and my husband had like a laundry list of things he wanted to do while he was there Which we didn't get to do them all because his back was hurt Then we came home and he had to go right back to work and He was at work for a few days before we left for Portland in the meantime his back got better although he's Undergoing treatment to figure out what's wrong with it. Um, his back got better But then he caught a cold so dude can't catch a break <laughs> so anyway we are home now hopefully for a few days and not having to go anywhere I'm headed to Target because I need to do some reorganizing and purging and stuff in my art room we really need to paint that room and uh, I have there's a bunch of holes in the wall that I've got to patch and I think the wire shelves have to come down for the painting part so I need some place for all my stuff to go. And although I've done a significant amount of purging in the last year or two, I still feel like I have too much stuff. So um, I'm gonna be working on that this next week. In the meantime, I'm looking for some storage solutions to redo the closet. My idea is to get a lot of stuff in the closet and out of the room room um, for a few different reasons, one of which will make um, moving it and packing it if needed during the painting process easier because you can just grab the plastic drawers if I can fill it up with drawers you can wrap them in, in plastic packing like cling wrap stuff and um, just move them like out to the garage without unpacking all the drawers right now it's everything's on shelf so it's gonna be it would be a pain in the neck so anyway that's my goal so before I order anything, I am headed to Target to see what they have. I don't really want to run all over town. Either Target has what I want or they don't. I have gotten plastic drawer units at the office supply store before in the past and they have a really good quality ones, but they're pricey. So I'm either gonna get them at Target or I'm gonna order them at Amazon and I'll keep you all posted. I also have to get groceries.
Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning, May 7th. Don't get excited. I only know that because I've been up since about 6.15 this morning, catching up on art, business, work stuff. That's the only reason I know. Otherwise, I'd have no idea. We are headed out. It is around 9.30, I think. And uh, I was done for the first half of what I need to do today. So I'm running over to the P.O. Box to mail some Etsy orders that came in while I was in and out of town <laughs> the last two weeks. And um, also pick up the mail because I haven't gotten the mail since Thursday. So I don't know. There might be nothing, but there might be a big stack of stuff. I don't know. So um, I could wait until today's mail is in and sorted, but... I don't really want to do that. I also need some flat rate boxes. So I will be making some more boxes of art supply and tool overstock. I don't know what to call them. I really hate to use the mystery box word because we, although we've used that before, um, that word has gotten some bad, um, press, so to speak, on YouTube and social media. Um, I, my boxes aren't usually a mystery because as you will see right about here, um, this is footage of me cleaning the closet and I will um, make some footage of me actually filling the boxes. So although the box that you get is picked at random, you have an idea of what's in them. It's not a complete mystery. I will be
everybody. It is Tuesday. I know it's Tuesday, May 8th, I think. Um, anyway, it is late in the day. It's already just after one o'clock because I've been chatting with friends and doing stuff around the house. So anyway, I am headed out to go get the mail because my some of the new storage for my art room should be in today and I'm gonna go pick that up and then I need to make some copies at Staples so that I can work on a project in front of the TV tonight because I got something to do I gotta put some things together and I was finishing up or catching up my daily traveler's notebook journal thing um, towards the end of our Portland trip I just was stuffing stuff in the notebook and I didn't glue anything in or document anything or any of that so I got it caught up things are drying right now and I am going to finish the journaling and any doodles or anything I want to do after everything's dry See that cardboard behind me? Yeah, that's two large iris carts. I will link them in the description. I bought the ones with the larger drawers at the bottom. They do have one with all skinny drawers all the way up. So I'll link them both for you all. But they're a great storage solution for your art room. The only problem is like nobody's got them in stock anywhere. You have to order them. So anyway, I got mine at Amazon. The boxes and they're not heavy but they're huge I think they're almost taller than me so anyway let's get home and let's unpack them hi guys it's Wednesday morning I don't know what time it is um 8 50 a.m. May 9th I only know this because I'm in my office by the computer oops where are we and the calendar otherwise yeah I have no clue so I need to go out this morning and go run some errands. I need to go, you know, do the grocery store thing. It's time. I last night took some of these. I really like the um, Yo Play new Yo Play French style yogurt that comes in the glass containers, and I do save the containers. And um, many things you can do with them, including using them for your water for your brushes. Um, but I thought I could turn some into tea light holders. I used um, a bunch of glitters and sequin that I had in stock and some decoupage and glue and yeah, it's super cute. So I'm gonna get some battery operated tea lights to go in there. Did that last night, let them dry. Um, and I was going through my magazine stash and pulled out some articles I want to reference or reread and added them to my tips and inspiration notebook. Um, which is sort of like my own version of uh, Arts and Crafts Idea Magazine. I've showed it before. Um, it's getting really full. I'm going to have to buy a new notebook soon. Um, I've got things to mail to friends, but I don't think I'm going to do that today. And um, I have a Goodwill donation stuff to get in the car and sort through and some stuff from the backyard I need to that just needs to go away, it needs to be trashed or put at the curb for free. Some of it I can't lift though, so I need to wait until either Bob is home and or the kids can both come over and help. Um, but that's all stuff on my to-do list this week and we have a business meeting, my husband and I, later to this evening here at the house and so we're gonna take care of that today. It's a busy, busy, busy day. So anyway, I'm gonna go get my day started and go get my chores done and I'll be back. I would say good morning, but it's already 1244 uh, in the afternoon. So, hello. Good afternoon, everybody. It is Thursday, May 10th. I think I'm pretty sure it's the 10th. Maybe? I don't know. It's Thursday anyway. I have been 
on and off the phone and the computer all morning. I've gotten nothing else done. I, well, I shouldn't say that. I did get the dishwasher started, but you know, I didn't get any filming done. haven't gotten any art done. I haven't had lunch yet. I did get my coffee and breakfast in, but barely. It's just been nothing but business and phone conversations and paperwork and yeah. So anyway, I've got Etsy orders to go out and Mother's Day cards to send out. All of y'all out there have moms somewhere. Um, so I wish them a happy Mother's Day. They deserve it, I'm sure. We're sending cards out to ours. Well, I'm sending the cards out to our two mothers this morning well it's afternoon um, we ordered them flowers and things last night so I think my mom gets hers on Friday and I think Bob's mom's gets her order of stuff that we sent on Sunday hey guys how are you today <clears throat> um, <laughs> it's been a crazy day it is Friday May 11th, I think. Um, we started off the day with some business meetings and contractors coming over for more estimates, and we're going to be getting the house outside of the house painted and stuff like that in the next week or so. And then I'm going to have some inside. Um, light work done. Nothing major construction wise, but light work done um, next month. <clears throat> so we were taking care of all that and while I was showing the painter the leftover cans of paint we have, I jammed my thumb down here between the metal storage shelf and the top of the paint can. Like it's still tender and sore. It was bleeding. I hope my thumbnail doesn't come off. That sort of thing, you know? Um, so it's tender. Uh, I did get all of June filmed for my creative year, so that's all done. I just need to get it um, off the SD card and onto the computer and then edit it and get it loaded up to um, YouTube. I'm going to get my other two commitments done for June, which are my giant life and explorations of me, before I do any of said downloading. Um, I'm going to be trying over the next few weeks to actually film all my commitments for all of 2018. And what I usually do is do one month at a time. Film, download, edit, load to YouTube, empty the SD card, repeat. <laughs> so I'll, I'm going to be doing that over the next few weeks and try to get all the rest of the year done. I have only my giant life and explorations in me left for June. <clears throat> so. I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm going to get them done today, but I might get them done Monday. I think there's too much stuff going on today, but we'll see. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Um, just the normal chores, laundry. We do have uh, dinner with friends tonight. Our friends from the Masonic Club known as the Grotto. And uh, we have that tonight, so that'll be fun. Tomorrow, I think we just have a chill day. We can sleep in, we don't have to be anywhere or do anything, and we can just relax, maybe go for a walk. You know, we went on vacation and then my husband got hurt and we've had all this business stuff to do. And I am so out of sync with my treadmill routine. In case you haven't noticed in the last few vlogs, there's been like no walking on the treadmill, right? So I need to get back to that. So I'm hoping like tomorrow <clears throat> I can walk on the treadmill or my husband and I can go for a walk around the neighborhood or something. So I'm hoping, cross your fingers, that starting tomorrow going forward, we get back into a good routine for that. And we are going to head over to Goodwill right now because, you know, as if things weren't busy enough, Thank you, my friend Shannon Green. Now I have this itching to make avocado skin and seed ink. I know, right? So I've decided that I don't really want to use one of my cooking pots for this. 
I'm gonna actually go buy a cheap little pot from the Goodwill that I can just keep in the art room for when I want to do stuff like this like my cookie sheets and my other things that are normally um, cooking equipment but I use them for crafting so we're gonna go in and see what we can find and do that and then I'm going to make some ink this afternoon using just skins and water and then I have the avocado seeds which I smashed with a hammer and then I'm gonna make ink out of that I'm gonna film it for you all and we'll see what happens all right I'll be back okay we got our pot cost me just a couple bucks at the Goodwill ironically enough the very first pots and pans we had after we got married were this exact same brand and I had this exact same pot till the handle fell off so this one seems to be in pretty good condition and so we are gonna um, go home and try to make some ink but first I'm gonna go see if the mail's ready so I'll be back all right guys we've got our pot I've got a bag of smashed avocado seeds which I think we're gonna do first and then I've got some avocado skins now I can tell you right away before I even get started with this I have this sneaking suspicion which is why I bought a pot rather than used one one of the reasons anyway that this is gonna lead me down a path of boiling all sorts of things from nature food things plant material to see what kind of ink colors we get I just have this feeling I don't necessarily want to do that in my cooking pots because I don't know what I'm boiling may make an interesting color but it's probably not food safe so yeah, I would recommend getting a pot from the Goodwill, and once you do it for something crafty like this, it's not good for food, just FYI. There's my disclaimer. So I'm going to dump my seeds in the pot, and they've already oxidized a bit. You can see some of it here on the bag. There you go. So that's interesting. And then we're going to fill the pot up with some water, not all the way. about a good halfway then I'm going to do like I generally do so you're not talking to my chin so I generally do when I'm making okay gravy um, I fill a small pot with some about three quarters full with some stock beef stock or chicken stock I add a good slug of dry sherry to it and then I bring it to a boil and then once it comes to a boil, I turn it down very low and simmer it low and slow uh, for a long time until it gets thick and syrupy. So we're gonna do something similar with these avocado seeds. And then when that's done with the skins, and once, I don't think we're gonna quite try to get to the syrup stage, but we are gonna reduce it greatly and thicken it. So let's see what happens. I'll let you know and let's get started. I'm going to start off on high when it comes to a boil I'm going to turn it down to low and then just let it simmer low and slow usually it takes 30 to 45 minutes so I'll be back our boiling seeds they look such an interesting color like a dark pur purpley fuchsia at least from here they do so we're gonna just let it simmer away for a few more minutes we're mo moving on to avocado skin ink, but I got this much seed ink out of just two avocado seeds, and look at the color that it is. So to preserve this ink like I've done in the past with coffee and tea ink, I'm going to put a little bit of glycerin in it, and that should prevent it from not only evaporating but getting moldy. And um, now we are boiling avocado skins and I've got my timer going so we'll see what we get okay so this is the avocado skin color and this is the seed color this is significantly more red than this one it's more brown interesting though 
All right. Okay, I, I was going to boil some rusty metal and see what color of water I got, but I just am not comfortable doing that. It's probably fine and safe, but I don't know that for sure. Yeah, so I'm not going to do that one, but I am happy with the two that I make. I'm going to let the skin ink cool off a little bit, and then I'm going to add some glycerin to it like I did with the seed ink. And uh, yeah, pretty interesting. I can't wait to try different things from around the yard and garden and see what happens. Let me know if you have any things that you make interesting ink or paint colors out of in the comments below. All right, I'm going to go clean up and finish the uh, Explorations of Me for June that I'm working on right now and then get ready to go out to dinner with our friends. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday morning, March, uh, March, holy cow. I was doing so well. <laughs> May 12th. I only know that much because I've already been up doing my daily posting and writing. Yes, my hair is wet again. Um, we are getting dressed and getting ready to go out and run some errands. Uh, we've got a, another purge load in the back of my car for Goodwill. So we're gonna go drop that off and um, the kids are coming over tomorrow for Mother's Day and we're, they're gonna help me get rid of some more stuff out in the backyard and the shed and the garage. Um, purge, 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 I'm on a kick. Um, what else we've got to, I don't know, we have stuff to do, but we're in no rush to do it. Uh, I have Etsy orders to drop off in the mail today, and I have some um, daily uh, drawings to catch up on if I have time today, which I probably will. But first, I need to make a trip to Costco with the husband, and we need to get dog food and stuff like that, so exciting, I know, right? <laughs> anyway, if anything funny happens or interesting, you know I'll film it for you all. All right, I'll be back. So, fun fact, it's lunchtime Sunday. I forgot to film the outro for last week's vlog, so here we are. Uh, we did another episode of Cooking with Fred. Uh, I will include a still shot of the meal here somewhere. It'll be a separate episode taken out, not in the vlog anymore. Um, so it's episode three. Episode two is airing soon, if it hasn't already. I don't know the date off the top of my head right now. Uh, anyway, it's been an uh, interesting week, a uh, long week, a lot of stuff to take care of and do, um, but I look forward to spending Mother's Day with the family and doing some things around the house that I've been wanting to do and need help with and having a couple of good meals with them and all that. So anyway, I hope you've all um, enjoyed the vlog and that you have a great week and have a great day and don't forget to do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.